After suffering numerous injuries from a rock climbing accident, this young man didn't know if he would walk again. But now, thanks to St. Luke's, he's back to doing what he loves. Take a look. It was a half day after high school. We went rock climbing at High Rocks in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Unfortunately, we didn't bring any ropes. I don't really remember how I fell, but I do remember climbing, and then the next thing I do remember was waking up in the hospital. I had suffered a lot of injuries from my accident. I did lose just about all the skin on the bottoms of my feet. Every vertebrae in my back ended up having at least a minor fracture. I tore the cartilage in my left hip. I had collapsed a lung, broke a couple ribs, and I had also lacerated my spleen. When I had gotten to the hospital, they actually didn't know if I was gonna make it through the night. After that, I pulled through the night. It wasn't, oh, he's gonna be fine. It was more just like, we don't know if he's gonna be able to walk again. Richard uh, came in with a, a fracture of his uh, lumbar spine, and that's often associated with a neurologic injury. The neurologic injury means that you might have a inability to move or inability to feel. Richard came to physical therapy approximately six weeks after he fell off a cliff 80 feet and survived. He spent time in ICU, he spent time in acute rehab following spinal fusion surgery. He walked in with a walker at drop foot, barely able to walk 20 to 30 feet. The red cord therapy definitely was one of the main reasons I'm actually able to walk today. Red cord is a system that was developed in Norway by the Norwegian Physical Therapy Association. You use the person's body weight suspended in the air to activate the core. What this system allows me to do is tailor it specifically to the patient. It was definitely very weird at first and uncomfortable just because I had never seen anything like it before. He was extremely weak, extremely deconditioned, and this afforded him to be able to address the weaknesses that we identified in a safe, pain-free manner. Not only did it work on muscle strength, but it also helped focus on your nervous system so your nervous system could start reacting properly if there was any nerve damage like I had. I'm very thankful for St. Luke's to provide something like this just because it was a great help for my recovery. St. Luke's is a very interesting place. We have very skilled people, but the approach is a very community-oriented approach. St. Luke's Physical Therapy has made a commitment to be very innovative and in providing the physical therapist with ongoing continuing ed to be on top of what's out there. There's a lot of research around the world. There's a lot of new innovative systems. This is one. I fell in love with the red cord, so I decided to actually get one for myself. Because of St. Luke's and red cord, I am able to go back to the mountain, go snowboarding. I've even gotten back into rock climbing, and I'm loving it. Joining me in the studio is Alex Brown, a board-certified physical therapist with St. Luke's University Health Network. Thanks for being here, Alex. Oh, thank you for having me. We've seen uh, some of the amazing things of red cord therapy. Tell us a little bit about it. So red cord therapy is a suspension-based uh, physical therapy system that was developed in the early 90s in Norway. Um, it was then renamed in about 2007 under red cord and is now in 35 different countries. Um, it, with, through the suspension and um, different use of bungees, it allows for patients to work at an attainable workload and often a pain-free environment, which is often a challenge for them. It allows them to stimulate their um, neuromuscular system and to allow for functional movements, um, oftentimes that we have a hard time doing throughout the day, whether it's just bending forward, uh, pushing and pulling and squatting down. What are some of the other uses um, for red core therapy? So it can actually be used on a wide range. Um, we'll see patients coming out of the hospital that are just generally deconditioned and weak. We will see patients coming off of orthopedic surgeries, whether it's a knee replacement, or even a high level um, uh, coll collegiate athlete, or even Olympic athletes. Now, if somebody's experiencing pain, what is the first step uh, to undergoing this type of physical therapy? What should they do? So what they can do is a number of things. There's traditional routes they can go through with their doctor, their primary care doctor for one, and receive a script that way. Or um, 
The one other way that they can seek us out is through direct access and um, through self-referral. So that's one push that we're trying to make towards our, um, our population is that you can come see us directly. You do not need a doctor's script per se. If there is any major issues, a lot of times we will call the referring a doctor or their primary care doctor or we'll call an orthopedic doctor and get them into the network in order to, to see the proper people they need to. You know, Alex, you mentioned earlier about the team at St. Luke's, and it really is a team. When you walk in to see uh, the physical therapy department, it's not just that. You are accessing the entire uh, St. Luke's University health network system. Tell us how that works. Absolutely. So not only do the therapists communicate, but we also communicate with the, whether it's the referring doctors, the referring orthopedists. So we all, we like to consider ourselves, like as you mentioned, that whole team approach, because it's truly about the team and doing what we can uh, to give our patients the best possible outcomes. Alex, how does it make you feel to see a patient uh, get relief from pain and suffering and walking out the doors feeling great again? It's powerful stuff, and we do. We see people coming in that are really in a lot of pain and discomfort and, and, and not quite you know, where they were. Uh, and, and their goal is to get back to some people. It's, it's just, you know, a basic, you know, being able to walk down the street. Other people, they want to get back to pretty high level activities, some of our athletes. So it's amazing to be able to work um, for such a great network and able to allow them to get back to that, that point. You offer so many different things. What are a few more of the services that you offer? So aside from just the what people might consider traditional therapy, you know, the back pain, the knee pain. We do offer um, treatment for those who maybe received a concussion or maybe who are getting dizzy and have a vestibular problem. Also those who are postpartum and have pelvic pain. Uh, but aside from the therapy end of it, we're also um, a gym and we offer just that general fitness to everyone to help promote that, that healthy lifestyle. That's great, and I know all about the, the gym part of it because I did the metabolic workout. It was fantastic. Sure. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Thank you, Mike. For more information on the physical therapy department of St. Luke's University or anything on today's show, just go to our website, thepeaktv.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great week, and remember, every day is your chance to be your best self. This is The Peak. What would you like to see on our channel? Comment below and give us an idea.